Now here is a classic case where we have two current bearing wires side by side and they are experiencing a force between them and we can, we need to determine in this case the currents given the force that they are experiencing. So again you can read the question down below but I'm going to encourage you to always draw a diagram so that you can understand the principles going on. So I have my two current bearing wires and I'm going to draw them an indeterminate length because actually the force given here is the force per unit length, so the force for every meter of wire. We know that we have two currents and they are in parallel, so that means straight away that whatever current input we have, the two currents are actually heading in the same direction. We know the force between them is a certain value and it's equal to 0.05 newtons per meter. Now that force is a force of, in this case, of attraction. So these forces are going to be wanting to pull these two wires in. And the only remaining thing to write down is the separation between them and we know that the separation between them is only one centimeter like so. Now, I always encourage you to write down the formula and that simply says that the force per unit length is equal to mu naught over 2 pi multiplied by the individual currents multiplied together over the distance separating them. So if we substitute all our values in, we get a value here of 0.05, that's our value on this side of the equation. This here approximates to 2 by 10 to the power of negative 7. Then we have I1 and I2, but we have the same current, so therefore we can make this I squared, and that distance between them, using correct SI units, is equal to 0.01 meters. So all that we now need to do is simply rearrange the formula and then work out I. So I ends up being equal to 50 amperes. So I hope that helped you understand the force between Q2 current bearing wires. Take care, bye for now.